Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Pam. How are you? I hope you're enjoying the Bible stories. Well, if you remember, we started talking about Noah last time. And we're going to talk about Noah some more. Okay? So let's just get right into it. Okay? Let's see. God told Noah. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see the board. Okay? Here we go. Remember, God told Noah to build that big boat? Yep. Well, there it is. And guess what? He told his wife. And their three sons, and they had wives too. They, he told them all to get into the ark. When Noah and his family and all the animals and birds were safely inside, God closed that big door on the ark. Seven days passed, and it did not rain. What do you think they did in the ark for those first seven days? Noah might have assigned to each person his or her chores, kind of like mom does for you or dad does for you or grandma or grandpa. Do they give you chores to do? Well, maybe that's what Noah did those first seven days since it wasn't raining. There was a lot of work to be done with so many animals to feed and care for. Outside, the sun was shining brightly. The, the people probably laughed. This was before the storm came. The people were probably still laughing at old Noah, thinking he was crazy. Yeah, you think? They probably did, and they probably said, it's not going to rain. He's so crazy. But you know what? Eventually it did rain. Let's talk more about that, okay? But the first seven days it didn't rain. The sun was shining brightly. Maybe Noah even thought, maybe he thought he had maybe made a mistake. Maybe he really didn't hear what God said. Would the flood really happen? But he knew deep in his heart it would because God had said it would. He just didn't know when. Suddenly the sky got dark. See these dark clouds? The sky got dark and lightning flashed across the sky. It was frightening and deafening. Have you ever been in a lightning storm? There was one here just last week and it was scary. They're very frightening and they're very loud. The people had never seen rain before. It had never rained before up until now that we know of. They began to shake in fear. Yeah, they were afraid. The big, heavy drops of rain splattered on them. But wait, wait. Something else new and different happened that scared them. Water started rising up out of the ground. It didn't just come from the sky. It came from up out of the ground. And it had never done that before. Already, they were standing in deep water. So the rain was coming down, tumbling down, like the song says. But yet it was coming up out of the ground at the same time. That would be scary, wouldn't it? Yeah. Noah was right after all, wasn't he? God told him it was going to rain and that he was going to destroy the earth with a flood. Remember? A lot of water. Yep. He wanted to obey God and go into the ark. But we only laughed, the people said. We only laughed at Noah and we thought he was crazy. They rushed to the ark. So they all rushed to the ark because they wanted to get into the ark, right? At first they thought he, Noah was crazy, but now they wanted to get in. Let us in, Noah, let us in! But it was too late. Noah and his three sons could not open the door. Do you remember? God's the one that opened the door, and God's the one that closed the door. Remember? Yeah, only God can open that door. And God had given them every chance to get into that ark. Remember, Noah told them for years, it's going to rain, and God's going to destroy the earth. And they laughed at him. 
Yeah. They, they chose not to get into the ark. That was their own choice. And then when it was too late, God had sealed up that door right there. He sealed it up, and they couldn't get in. Even Noah and his sons couldn't open it. Only God could open that door. The rain fell night and day without stopping. It came down in torrents. That means in like buckets of rain, lots and lots of rain, and flooded the streams and the rivers. The water began to rise higher and higher. It rained and it rained and it rained. The people climbed trees and rushed up to the hills and the mountains, but there was no escape. The water rose up until it covered everything and everybody outside of the ark. For 40 days and 40 nights the rain fell, but Noah and his family and all the animals were safe inside the ark. They were safe because they had followed God's directions and built the giant boat. The vicious storm raged on and on outside. But inside the ark, they were safe and dry. They were resting in God's love and care. When finally the rain stopped, Noah opened the window. Remember the window at the top? Well, God allowed Noah to open that window. See that little window? There was nothing to see, though, when he opened it. He opened that window, but there was nothing to see but water. Everywhere he looked, there was nothing but water. So that meant no one could leave the ark yet. One day, Noah set a free a raven, then a dove. When the dove came back with some fresh leaves in her beak, Noah smiled. Plants are beginning to grow again. He said, it won't be long until we can leave the ark. God wants us to have a good life, but we must follow his directions and obey like Noah did. God always knows what's best for us, but we just have to obey what he says, even as little kids and big adults. Mm -hmm. And he always gives us lots of chances. We might reject God or his word or his things that he says and the way he lived but he always still loves us and he wants us to obey and he wants us to listen to him just like you listen to your mom and dad you know how sometimes you don't listen to your mom and dad and you get in trouble yeah if we don't listen to God eventually we're going to get in trouble yeah just like the people that were in the ark. Remember the people in the ark? They didn't listen to Noah. And who told Noah? It wasn't just Noah talking. God told Noah to tell the people, didn't he? And they didn't listen. So that's why it's important, boys and girls, for us to first to know God. Do you know God? You know, he can be your very best friend. All you have to do is ask God to come into your heart. Yep. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart and live and help me to live for you. Forgive me for my sins. Remember, that's when you're bad. And help me to be the person and the boy or the girl that you want me to be. Amen. And he'll do it. He will. And you know what? You just need to, when you get older, you read the Bible. This is God's Word. It's like a map. It's like a treasure chest. And it's got all kinds of things in it to help us to live a good life. It shows us the good choices and the bad choices. Because there were some people that made bad choices. And it shows us what happens when you make a bad choice. So today, I, won't, I just want you to realize that Noah and his sons made a good choice. And their wives and Noah's wife. But there were people that made bad choices. And it still happens today. It still happens today. 
And that's why Miss Pam's here to help you to make a good choice. Okay? Okay, well, that's all of our story for today, but we'll be back tomorrow and something special going to happen. You'll see something that you see today, too. We'll talk about it, okay, tomorrow? All right, let's say a word of prayer, and then I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Father, we just thank you, Father, for everything you do in our lives. We thank you for the Bible stories you give us to help us to know how to live the life that you would have us to live. Help us to listen to what you say, Father, and help us to obey. And if there's any boys or girls or moms or dads or grandmothers or grandpas or, or friends or relatives that don't know you, Jesus, help them, Lord, to know that you're waiting for them. That no matter how many mistakes they make or whatever they do, that you're always patiently waiting for them to listen and to obey. And so, Father, once again, thank you for our, our Bible story today and all the stories in your Bible. And, Lord, we just look forward to each day the one that you give us. Thank you for Jesus. And we love you, God. Amen. Okay, boys and girls. That's today's story on the big flood. And tomorrow we'll be back and talk about the conclusion to the big flood. Okay? All right. You guys go and have a wonderful day. And remember, Miss Pam loves you, but God loves you more. All right. Bye-bye.